Welcome everyone. In this screencast, I want to show you how easy it is to integrate Kiklo into a Spring Boot project. So, Kiklo is an identity management and authentication server. And during this screencast, I will really show you from scratch how you can use both of them. So, your journey starts on the keycloak.org site. And there you simply go to the download section and you grab the latest server distribution. Then it's just a matter of unzipping it and starting it. In this screencast I won't cover the full configuration of a Keycloak server. It's pretty easy, but for that I will point you to my blog post that comes with this screencast where I define all the steps to define your client, your users, your walls, and etc. I just want to focus here on the Spring Boot part. So next step, what do you do when you start a new Spring Boot project? Of course, you go on start.spring.io and we will build a pretty simple web app. So for that, we need the web starter. We need marker because we will be building a Spring MVC app with some templates and of course we need Keycloak. Let's call this screencast, uh, let's call it sorry the product app and let's generate this. Okay we got here a zip file let's just extract that to our screencast folder here here we go and then let's just open this project which is here screencast product app okay this window okay we are ready to build our app and it will be a really simple app just containing a home page a landing page which has one link, a product page, which will show us some product. And it's this product page that we want to secure. So let's start by creating our landing page here in the static folder. I just create a new HTML file and I call it index.html. And here we keep it really simple. My landing page and here we just add the link to my products here we go my products okay next step is uh, let's create a controller for our application so here I create a new controller and I call it class product product controller here we go I can make it the font bigger if you want so for the controller and what we want here is a pretty simple mapping is when we go to uh, products well then public string get products here we inject our spring MVC model And what we do here is pretty simple. We put our products in our model. So let's call it products and let's keep it simple here by doing airways as list and let's pass some products, an iPad, an iPhone, and an iPod. Okay. That's all. Let me remove here typo. And then we just returned the name of our template products. And that's all. Okay, so let's create this template here in templates. And I do a new file and I call it products.fgl because it's a free market template. So here I need to do some import 
and my page will be pretty simple here I call it my products and what I will basically do is iterate between my products that are in my uh, model so I do that with here here I iterate through my products and one more thing that we want to add is a button to be able to log out so here I put a logout button let's call it logout let's make sure we have a break line here okay so we're done uh, for logout let's create a logout um, controller so if I go here again I do get mapping for the path <coughs> sorry logout and that will be pretty simple string here I call it logout and I just inject my HTTP servlet request here and what I do is request dot logout and <coughs> I return the root path so we I go back to the index okay so uh, that's all I need now I need to uh, configure, oh, I just need to add, to throw an exception here. Okay, we are all good. Uh, now I can configure my key cloak um, settings and I don't need to touch the code at all. Uh, I just have to add some properties. And if I go here, key cloak, let me increase the font size. I have some mandatory fields. First one is, where is my uh, key cloak? server running so in my case it's running on the local host but on port 8081 slash off okay key cloak which on which realm is my app hosted in this case my app is hosted in a realm called spring demo resource that's the name of my application on the key cloak side so i keep it simple here it's also product app and I just need to mention if I'm using a public client. That's true. Okay, so for now, uh, let's not add any security constraints. Let's just make sure uh, that uh, our app is running. So let me run that app now. So my app is running here. And if I go to my browser, let me open a new app. So I got here my landing page with just one link, my products. And when I click my products, I get my list of products. Great, so my app is uh, running. Now I want to add some security constraints to be sure that this page right here is protected. How can I do that? It's pretty simple. I just need to define some security constraints, just you will like do with the classic Java EE app in your web.xml. Well, here I do it here in the property style. So I define a security constraint and here I define a role. And what I want here is that only users with the role user can access the constraint that I will define. And here I just create a security collection and I can pass some patterns, some URLs patterns, meaning which, which patterns are asked to be protected. In my case, it's products slash star for wild, uh, wildcard. And that's it. Now, if I uh, run my app again, and that I go back to my application and I go back to the root path here. I click on my product. Oh, and here we see that I haven't defined a redirect URL. Okay, that's not a big deal because I just had to go to my Keycloak console, which is uh, running here. And if I go to my product app, I just add here a valid redirect 
Ruel, in my case 8080 slash star. I just save that. Okay, and let me go back to my product application here. And now I click on my products. And hey, you see, here I've been redirected to my Keycloak server where I can log in. Here I've created a user Sebi with password Sebi, pretty simple. I log in and I'm redirected on my page. This page now is protected by Keycloak. You cannot access it if you're not authenticated. Let's make sure the logout button is working. So here I press on logout and I go back to my products. And if I click on products again, you can see that I have my logging screen again. So let's just play a bit with this logging screen here. And if we go to our Keycloak console, so my Keycloak console is where I can control everything, my clients, my users, my walls, but also the behavior of my logging screen. And if I go to Realm settings near login, I could say, well, I would like to have some user registration. Uh, I want to remember me, of course. Uh, I want to link if I have to get my password. And I just click save. And again, if I go back to my app and I just refresh this page here, you can see that I got the remember me, the forget password. I can register a new user. So if I click here, I can just register as a new user. Uh, last thing before, uh, let's just add, for instance, you want to add some social login. You want to be able to log in with your Twitter account. So you click here on add identity provider. Here I put just dummy numbers, but here you should put your real client ID and client secret from the app that you have created in your Twitter dev console. I just do save here. Okay, again, let me refresh this page here and you see hey I got a Twitter link so here I can really log in with my Twitter account this is the first part of the screencast in the second part we will show you how you can introduce some spring security and after that we will divide our spring app into two separate apps one acting as a rest service and we will see how a spring app can communicate with another Spring app that is also secured by Keycloak. Thank you.